In this video, I want to discuss how to make a machining drawing for this part that starts out as a cast part. To make that machining drawing, I first need to understand a bit about the part's function. So I can see my part here in the assembly, it bolts to my base. So therefore the bottom face needs to be machined. The holes where the sock head cap screws go will need machining. The hole where the bushing goes inside and this slot to allow this to be tightened up, again, will need machining. This face will need machining because it's going to sit against this face of the base and we want it to be nice and square. And again, this face should be machined because the handle will sit against a washer against this face. However, all of these surfaces I've shaded as black can remain as cast. Their surface finish and sizes are irrelevant to the parts function. So I want to demonstrate now how would I make a good drawing to take this cast part and create a machining drawing from it. Remember, a machining drawing is different than the casting drawing. So I've gone ahead and started my drawing sheet. I've added the top, front, left, and right, and isometric views. I have not filled out the part properties yet, so none of my title block is populated, or my notes, but I'll go back and do that later. So now I want to discuss how do I dimension this cast part for machining. And recall, that all these surfaces shown in the black or dark gray are left as cast. After placing my views, I've gone ahead and added dimensions. I don't want to discuss why I've dimensioned and what I've dimensioned. Again, I'm dimensioning the cast part for machining. All of the dimensions represent features which must be machined. If I start in the top view, these holes obviously will be machined, so I have their hole callout. And with every feature, I have to ask myself, do I have a size for that feature and do I have a location? So I have the feature size for my holes. I see also for location, they're located a half inch from this face. The center to center distance of the holes is two and an eighth. And now I need to say, well, what about from one of the edges? But I have a center line here in the part. So that tells me these holes are located on the center of the part in this axis. So they do have a size and location for these features. I have the one inch size for this part thickness. The three inches is a reference dimension and hence it's in brackets. It doesn't get machined, but it's sometimes nice to add a few reference dimensions just for them to check and make sure that the casting they receive is correct. Next on the front view, I see the slot is also on center because I have a center line. I have its width. Now I have the hole, so I have my feature size. And if this hole had a tight tolerance, I would need to go ahead and edit this to get the proper tight tolerance. I also have the hole location. From the bottom machine surface to the center of the hole is inch and a quarter. And again, I have the center line, so I see the hole is on center of the part. So for the front view, the next dimension I have is again, I need to control how much gets machined off this bottom. So I have a dimension from this cast face to the bottom surface, and that'll control the amount of casting that gets machined off of the bottom. I also have a very generous tolerance here because this is a cast surface and I don't want the entire tolerance used up in the roughness of just the cast surface. I wanna check that for every feature, I give a size and a location. So as I look at my drawing, I can see here in the hidden lines, I have this clearance hole for the socket head cap screw and this side has a threaded hole. So now I need to make sure I have the feature size and location. Well, over here, we have the threaded hole size. Here we have the clearance hole size. In both views, I see the center line, so I know they're on center. And in this view, I've dimensioned again from a machine surface to the hole because that's how they should be measured not from a cast surface. So this is inch and seven eighths and I've just rounded that off to two decimal places. So I know the feature size and I know the location and I wanna check everything one more time. So when I do that, I see this might be a problem. So the counter board holes a diameter 0.266 through and that's correct because it goes through up to where the slots cut out but I don't like the word through there because many people are gonna read that and wanna drill completely through. 
So I'm going to select this whole callout. I'm going to come over here to where it's dimension. I'm going to delete the through from it and I'm going to add up to slot or up to next to really clarify. Don't drill all the way through because if you do, there won't be a threaded hole in this part. And again, the last thing I want to do is look at my drawing one more time and say, for every feature that gets machined, do I have a size and a location? If not, I need to fix it. And I haven't added dimensions that are part of the casting. Just this one as a reference dimension.